Hey, hello, welcome to my review of the Poly Studio P21 all in one monitor, which is right next to me. I'm going to show you and share with you how the video quality looks like microphone, loudspeaker, charging plate, um, display. And I'm going to compare it to my current let, uh, laptops called Samsung Galaxy Book and also to the Dell Latitude. And we compare the camera and the microphone quality. Also, I'm going to walk you through the PolyLens app. Setup of this monitor is very easy. You literally only have two cables, one USB-C and one USB-A to connect to your PC or to your Mac. And then there's another cable for power plug. And here you can see the light is already on, switched on. You can also switch it off very easy by putting, pressing this button here. And this is the way how you can add light and give you a better and more beautiful uh, yeah, face color actually. Here you can see a charging blade, which you can use for your phone, laptop, or maybe your in earbuds. And then you also can mute yourself here and you can change the volume up and down from the loudspeaker. Actually, nothing more to explain here on the back. You just have the connections, which are already mentioned to the USB-C cable, USB-A and to the power plug. Okay, my first device is a quite new, I think it's from July this year, a Samsung Galaxy book here running on Windows 11. And I'm going to move and share the microphone and video quality right with you. That's the test case here. I'm using the Samsung Galaxy book and nothing changed. The default microphone, the default webcam only 720p. And now we're going to compare it to the Poly P21 Studio. Okay, next candidate is a Dell Latitude 5420, just arrived three weeks ago in October 21. Okay, here we have Dell Latitude 5420, standard camera, standard microphones. And let's check out if this is better or worse than the studio from Poly. Are you ready for the moment of truth? So let's check if the Poly Studio P21 is going to beat these two laptops. Okay, this is now the Poly P21 Studio. You're hearing the microphone quality. You're, you're just watching the video quality, but also let's go deeper into the specifications. The screen is 21.5 inches. It's a 1080p screen, um, resolution 6 to 9, also a um, 6.7 million colors. On the other hand, the uh, ambient lighting, 3000K and 80 uh, CRI. So that's important to know when you look into the lightning. I'm going to switch off the lightning right now. So that is the camera without lights and here including lights. And you also can regulate and control these lights. Camera, 1080p, uh, full HD. You can also switch it to 720. The maximum would be 80 degrees um, point of view. There's electric zoom up to four yeah, times. You can also use the poly lens app to control it. Low light quality, um, stereo and so on. Pen, pilt, zoom controls. On the audio side, there is one single uh, unidirectional MEMS microphone included. And the speakers are dual stereo speakers and you get 10 watts per channel. Interfaces, as I said, USB 3.0 and then also two USB 3.0 ports. There's a Kensington, there's a power connector and last but not least, a special one here for the North America, pole 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Power re requirements uh, 110, 240, depends where you are. And then it's important to mention that it works on a Mac, on a PC, starting with Windows 8, going uh, from Mac 10.15 up to the latest versions. And it's certified and compatible with Zoom and Microsoft Teams. Let's start the Poly Lens app here and see how we can configure all the different uh, configuration points and features. So first of all, there's an overview where you can get the latest information, which status the, P the studio has got and the latest software version. You're going to be notified if you have to update the Lens app or the Poly Studio. 
in the controls, yes, you can look how you look like. So that's a very helpful preview. Also, you can expand it and so on and make a screenshot. And then you can go directly here and go and change the brightness of it. You can change the contrast. And there is a U factor. Oh, I'm going to look like Shrek now, which is scary. Halloween is over. Saturation. Oh, sharpness. Gamma. White balance. We usually use here the automatic mode. And then backlight compensation. A lot of possibilities. So here that's very rich. You can also get increase the gain, increase exposure or set it to automatically. And then you can uh, add your own favorites. Then in the settings, you've got the general uh, rocket button, which is the left button on your P21. And I've chosen it to do vanity lights. So switch on and switch off the lights. But you can also do something else like play or pause, for example, or answer and end calls. Then the app button is currently designed for me in Teams. If I would uh, choose zoom, then it would directly change to a nice, beautiful zoom button. That's also handy. Then the anti-flicker, 50 or 60 hertz. Mute alert type, single tone, double tone, display brightness. Here I can modify it, display contrast. And then I can go deeper into the lights configuration, idle states, and then I can see you know how the LED lights should uh, inform me about the incoming call, active call, hold call, and so on. I can uh, also activate wireless charging. That's something what I don't use a lot because my mobile has got a very speed, uh, quick charge, but it's nice here too charge my other things like in earbuds. Ringtone and volume can be um, controlled here with special configurations like minimum, maximum controls of the ringtones. And then you can also reset the device. Support is going to give you a user guide, a quick style guide, and then also you can contact Poly Support. Please share with me in the comments if you're convinced about the value add what Poly is currently creating with this new form factor. If you're convinced about the microphone quality, the loudspeaker quality, or the camera quality, please share with me because uh, it's a new device, it's a special form factor, and I would like to hear your thoughts.